I was employed once in a restaurant and they said to me like we want you to ride on a horse you're gonna be dressed in a red Indian headdress and you're gonna ride naked through the restaurant this is The relationship with Ibiza, very intimate, long, exciting relationship. Been through so many crazy, good experiences on the island. We came, but knowing nothing, nothing crazy, about nothing. the island. A Ibiza llegué por amor. Mi marido en ese entonces era mi novio. Ya lleva muchos años acá y llegué por unos pasajes eh, de regalo de cumpleaños. Me enamoré de la isla y acá. Estoy. Since the day I arrived, I didn't really know anything about Ibiza, just that it was super hippie and it was also like a place to come to party. We're taking care of all the, the promotion on the island. Uh, we are also managing uh, the six Paradise Girls. They started this party not even thinking that it was going to blow up like it did. And now for me, it's probably it's one of the best parties of the island. They want to be part of that trip, you know. That's why every time it's about to travel. It was a tribe called Paradise, then a planet called Paradise. Ibiza has completely changed my life. My love for this island is uh, just indescribable. I remember one time when I was playing Five Aside with my dad, and it was just outside space, and I remember the music just blaring and me looking over at this, and there was just a queue of people, and they were all so flamboyantly dressed. So I was like, what's that? What's going on with them? My dad's like, they're just partying. I went, that looks like a party I want to go to though. So Ibiza really showed me the flamboyance of life and the party scene from a very young age. 2010, in on a Monday, out on a Wednesday, just on the rave. Never booked any accommodation. 2011, I came here to live. My favourite thing is the people. Everybody's crazy, everybody is a character. It is really a melting pot of many different types of people that all love similar things. And different philosophies, ideologies. You can find the, the hippiest hippie and the most materialistic millionaire and whatever happens there is just a communion. Every single person you meet just has just a story that could just change your world. You end up meeting the people that you would never meet anywhere else in life. The first night ever we had in Ibiza, it was uh, at space, getting by the artist door, met Carl Cox, and people saw we were like Lenny Kravitz, and I saw Lionel Messi. We really crazy about football, so it was like as soon as I saw Messi, I don't almost didn't give a shit about Carl Cox. At Halloween party, I was booked by a good friend of mine. We had a few drinks and he's like, oh, it'd be so funny if you were dressed as a devil and you came down from the ceiling on a pole. So it was raining outside and I'm climbing on the roof of Bambuda and then I come down and I literally slipped from the top and I broke the marble table. When I used to drink, I used to get complete memory loss. And one time I woke up and I didn't really know where I was and I'm looking around this uh, hotel and I'm looking down beside us and there's a woman beside us who turned out to be Katie Price and I was like what where am I what's she doing there how is this going on and I'm like walking around thinking where am I look out the window and then there's loads of photographers there and they just start taking loads of photographs of us and I'm just like right what's going on here we've got a really small like really tiny friend and they picked her up and they crowd surfed that across the whole top deck of the boat and then everyone was just like pouring champagne over it and chanting her name as the summer said. We've had sex toys being requested, some pretty weird requests for specific kinds of girls, really weird whacked out entertainers and we've had a request for a standalone bath being ordered to a villa before. We did it. used to, to come to Ibiza every year. We actually went out and rented a house in Ibiza. We were supposed to record for like seven days but once I went out to the clubs um, I didn't return back to the house <laughs> for seven days. <laughs> Just saw him, you know, so he went to see and we managed to like just meet him and we start to like uh, dancing with him, with all his crew, like all the security guys. The island just gets better and better for me. The people, you come back and you just see all your friends that you made the year before, the parties. Always new, it was changing it. Every year it's like it's getting like better and better. I'm more depends, crazy, I'm more store, packed. Every, every people, but for us it's like it's a good thing, you know. It's, it's changing, you know, changing. it's the evolution. The mix of everything from underground to commercial with a lot of credible in between. Yeah. It's quite special here. Ha cambiado cada año a peor en realidad. La gente distinta no es la misma gente que venía hace muchos años atrás. La gente que viene ahora es más por la música comercial y por la música real que por la electrónica. 
I think that the world is shifting. It's shifting from exactly the, like the materialistic, industrialized uh, branding into a uh, need to connect to the earth. Something that I see changing in Ibiza and all around the world is that there is a more conscious way of living and even a more conscious way of partying that's coming through. This is bubble that nothing seems to impact Ibiza and obviously it's changing the sense that there's a lot more money coming to the island now. It's a lot more of a kind of VIP focus, big spenders, big icons, big celebs coming out here. But it still does keep its soul, it still keeps its heart, what makes it special, the energy is still there. It's constantly evolving year by year. Every year, like, something just draws you back. I'm probably going to be here when I'm 50 years old. Do you remember?